If you have over $200,000 sitting stagnant in your bank, retirement account, or home equity, then you're literally losing money. On this show, you learn how to get that money working for you consistently and conservatively. Learn to grow your nest egg with your host, Sean Winslow. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Multifamily Money Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Winslow, and this is another Finance Friday episode. Hey, everybody, you know the drill coming at you all things personal finance on Fridays because after all, it's not what you make, but what you keep. And today is one of those episodes where I sh- share something tactical. Um, and what I want to talk about today is a solution to a problem we've been hearing in the news. And that's the uncertainty with the banking world, with the finance world. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty we've seen over the last 12 months. Several banks actually go bust. There's been talks about, you know, runs on banks and what would happen if you had your money in a bank. And for those that didn't know the amount that was FDIC insured, I'm sure you do know that amount now, which is $250,000. And for those that aren't familiar with it, for whatever reason, essentially you're FDIC insured, so federally insured up to $250,000. So if you have $249,000, $250,000 in your bank account, that is insured, meaning if anything happened to that institution, that bank... Um, and the money evaporated, you would be insured and get that through, um, get paid back to FDIC. However, if you had two hundred and fifty-one thousand, um, that one thousand dollars above two hundred fifty thousand would not be insured, and you would most likely lose that. So, if you have a million dollars in a bank account, the seven hundred fifty thousand above that two hundred fifty thousand would not be insured by the federal government. So that makes a lot of people nervous. Um, both, you know. Individuals that are fortunate to have that type of money in a bank account and for businesses, a lot of businesses do small, medium, and large businesses, you know, have operating accounts where, where they, they need that type of money in cash at all times, just to make their business run every day from purchasing, um, items for their business through vendors, man, if they're manufacturing, they got to, you know, purchase supplies, um, the raw material to manufacture what they're manufacturing, if they're a reseller, they got to buy product to then go sell to the customer. They got to pay payroll, um, all the expenses, utilities, rent, everything you know that it takes to run a business. So if if you're you know a business doing seven plus figures, you're most likely going to need more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a bank account to make all that happen. Um, so what happens if you if you just keep it all in one account? You know, you could essentially, if anything happened to that bank, you could lose it. So, what is the solution, or is there a solution to get around the two hundred fifty thousand dollars limit of the FDIC insured? Um, and yes, the sh- short answer is yes, there is, and it's called a insured cash sweep account. So, th- there's different types of cash sweep accounts. There's, you know, in your investment account, you can have one where anytime you have cash coming in. Um, it automatically sweeps it into a money market fund or a higher yield type of instrument. So you're not having what is known as cash drag on your portfolio, cash just sitting there and bringing down the overall return, right? So you, it, it's swept as soon as it comes in. Maybe you set up a monthly contribution to your account where you put an X amount of dollars every every month and it, and it goes into your brokerage account, your retirement account, whatever it happens to be. Then the the cash sweep account takes that cash and moves it into, say, a money market fund that's um, yielding something higher than it just sitting in cash. And so, what an insured cash sweep account is is this mostly used for businesses, but it, it can be, you know, used for you know higher net worth individuals who have a lot of cash on hand at a given time that you know they don't they want more liquid, they don't want it in in an investment. And so, what happens is that look at it from a business angle, your business the end of End of every day, you have your main account with the with the bank you use. Let's say it's you know ABC um, Main Street Bank down the road from you, and you have let's say a million dollars in account at the given at any given time. And so the end of the business day, it's going to sweep any money above two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and it's going to break into chunks of two hundred fifty thousand dollars or less, and it's going to send it to other institutions so other banks outside of this out of this bank so essentially 
these banks have partnerships with hundreds of different banks across the country to make this you know, possible. So at the end of the day, they're going to chop up any that excess of money over $250,000. They're going to chop up into chunks of $250,000 or less, and they're going to send it to these different partner banks so you don't have more than $250,000 at any given bank. And you can do this up to $150 million. So for most people, you're never going to have that problem. Most businesses are not going to have that problem having more than $150 million. Now, if you do, you can be insured up to that amount. And then anything above that, you would not be. So this is a great workaround for, for most businesses because most businesses, like I said, if you're doing seven figures or more, you're going to have cash at any given time above, well above $250,000. And so you want to protect it in case if there's a run on a bank or anything happens to a bank where it goes out of business, your money could be lost. And so this is the way to do it. It's called the insured cash sweep account. And almost all, all banks have the ability to do this because again, they partner with hundreds of banks throughout uh, the country. So if you don't do this, go talk to, reach out to your bank, go talk to your bank and ask if they have this. If they do, sign up for it immediately. If they don't, I would go look for another bank because this is important. You want to protect that money. And, and I forgot to mention when it does sweep into account, generally it goes into a higher yielding account so you can make some interest income off that money as well. All right, guys, this was a quick one. I just wanted to share a tactical um, solution for you because I've I've been hearing about this often right people get nervous they saw what happened to you know the different banks um signature bank um silicon valley um and they get nervous right they they don't want that to happen to their hard earned money um that could you know cripple them cripple their business so this is a solution this is a workaround if you don't already employ that in your business i highly recommend you do and if you're fortunate enough to have this issue as an individual where you keep that amount of cash um, liquid at any given time, I would look into this as well. All right, everybody, as always, easy doesn't pay well and instant gratification is self-destructive. So not only get out there and work hard for your money, but have your money work hard for you so you can create the life of your dreams. And after all, personal excellence, making ourselves the best we can is what's going to make this world a better place. All right, everybody, catch you on the next one. Hey, this is Sean Winslow. After being in the financial service industry for years and having candid conversations with good people just like you, I realized that so many of us are wanting an investment strategy that provides solid returns and consistent income without the bumps in the road. There's little known secret that your financial advisor doesn't want you to know. There is an investment out there that is less volatile and the returns are stronger. Get more details by going to greenbriarcg.com and clicking on the free e-report. And by the way, if this show has provided you any value, then feel free to leave an honest written review and of course, share it with a friend who needs it. See you next week for another great show.